Don't you dare change the channel. Travis C4 here, back with Gavin Jackson. How's it going out there? By Mike Strong. Have you seen all the stuff that's going on with Eric C. Jones and Mike Strong? Eric C. Jones, he has a wild card up his sleeve with this Mike Strong. How big is this man's arms, Mike Strong? I don't know how big his arms are. They're like the size of a truck. But this guy weighs 275 pounds. Ooh. Six foot one. He's from wow. Calgary, Alberta, Canada. This guy is made for the wrestling business. Canada has a lot of great wrestlers who's came out from the past. Mike Strong is just another one. But we got our eyes on Eric C. Jones now. I'm not sure why Eric C. Jones has such hatred for masked men. Is it because he has a face like that? Well, I mean, I can't call it. I cannot call it tonight. He is doing the masked men invitational. Despite what he likes, what he doesn't like. This is a guy with 15 years of experience. This guy's wrestled all over the country. Yes, he has. If you've been wrestling as long as this man, you would have fans too. I mean, he's he's been well traveled all over the East Coast. And so now we're gonna take it to the ring. Possibly Eric has something to say, or are we gonna jump right into the invitational? Yes, he does. With no milk. Welcome to the Eric C. Jones Masked Idiot Invitational. <laughs> Masked Idiot. Tonight you will see the slaughter of multiple morons wearing stupid masks. Bring them out. Who's first? And we are underway, ladies and gentlemen. Interesting name. It's an interesting name. I love this song. What is this song? It sounds like a pleasant guy. Sounds like a melody. Walk right into the doghouse. Did you know this guy? His training was actually paid for by his aunt. Great Auntie Ruth did it for him. Now should we be angry with Aunt Ruth when he walks into this? Silver lining. Only, only time will tell. I mean, this is a top-notch jam-up guy. Creepy Jones. I got creepy. Travis. This guy looks like he came right out of Mexico. He is a luchador. He is ready to put it to Eric C. Jones. He looks like a big thing of aluminum foil. This guy is authentic. He is a luchador. Just wait till you see him on the ropes. This is going to be quite the contest. His 
Jake's favorite wrestler growing up was Kane. I mean, we could go on and on. Eric C. Jones does not have a taste for mass wrestlers. But having a guy like Mike Strong in your corner, that's a good move. Well, Eric C. Jones is the only guy I know that hopped the wall to leave America to go beat up Mike Jones. Unbelievable. Here we go. Look at him go. With the big clothesline to the back, he's going for a cover now. He is letting him up. Wow, the confidence. There's a silver lining in this, Travis. Silver lining. I hope Aunt Ruth is happy. She wouldn't be too happy about seeing her baby boy silver line and getting beat down by Eric C. Jones tonight. Stay away from Mike Strong. Unbelievable. The crowd is airing their frustrations. Arms like that, I think he can take his whole head off. How big do you think his biceps are? There's been plenty of wrestlers around here that have mentioned the largest arms in the world. Two of their arms by what he can First fall down, Eric C. Jones is coming out on top so far. No money. This being an invitational, we have another contestant coming down. Let's see who we got here. Oh, this is a pretty big guy. What is this gentleman's name? Los Machos, Los Machos. He is from parts unknown, 230 pounds. Luchador punches. Going for the cover. This guy could really give Eric a, a run for his money, I think. Elbow drop. Can it put away Eric C. Jones? Just think about having tattoos, Travis. They're like targets. That hey, that's a solid point. Being in that mask, uh, your vision is a little, a little blurred. But he can see the tattoos. He's going for that. Eric C. Jones needing a breather with Big Mike Strong. Do not poke the bear. Slamming him into the ring press. Come on, referee. Turn your back already. That's one thing about those Canadian boys here. All of them are well trained. Very smart. Biting through the mask. He's biting through the mask. Ah, his mask was edible. Come on, Travis. Unbelievable. You make it out of fruit rolls. Big line to the back, and we're going to go for another pin here. Why does Eric C. Jones feel the need to cheat tonight? is a win. Silver Lining gonna get back into the ring? Uh oh. Uh, Ruth's gonna be happy about this 
has picked up. Impressive to say the very absolute least. This man is a monster. That is a bad move. Do not shake that man's hand. And he's catching him out of the sky. Oh, cow, that was a pin. And he's not done. And that's a deep bear hug. He's got him. Let Eric C. Jones talk now. And the match is over. Your winner, my best friend in the whole world, Mike Strong. A behemoth. I guarantee if I was still an active wrestler, I would be calling Mike Strong every day. He put the cape right over his bicep. Look at that. Good Lord. What a specimen. I'm with you. For a second there, I thought Los Machos number one had a chance. Oh, without a doubt. With the experience that Eric C. Jones has. He's masked out. Eric C. Jones just showed the world what he thinks of masked wrestlers. <laughs> and then he has that big bear outside. Did you see that? And he was just feeding them to him. Unbelievable. <laughs> These guys are unstoppable. There's nothing you can do when you got big Mike Strong in your corner. Eric C. Jones proved tonight that his alliance with Mike Strong is a good decision, and he continues his dominance on to the next match. This is Mike Strong. You're watching WDWA on TV10. It's me, it's me, it's the VIP, baby, WDWA Lightweight Champion. And tonight, I'm going to be defending my title against Mr. Motivation. But guess what Mr. Motivation's not? Mr. VIP. And here on Channel 10, Mr. VIP is going to do what he does best. He's going to be putting feet to faces, and I'm going to walk away with the championship. It is for the Light Heavyweight. Oh yeah, we were joined last week by Mr. VIP Viper. And that's our big fan, Austin Teets, right there. Yes, the best, only the best. Mr. Motivation, Eddie Velasquez, he will be making his way to the ring to challenge Mr. VIP Viper for the light heavyweight championship. He's been in WDWA for quite some time right now and hasn't had a chance to grab any of the championships. I'm sure his uh, motivation and build up is going to change a little bit now that he's got a different outlook on his life. It's true. Tonight is the night that things can change, titles can change. We will see. All right, ladies and gentlemen. 
Mr. Motivation. Eddie Velasquez. A very colorful man, isn't he? He has a lot to prove tonight. Yeah, I'm sorry to interrupt you guys, but Eddie Velasquez has a very good chance to beat Mr. VIP here tonight. And it doesn't matter who it is, I got a shot at either one of these guys on July 10th. That's right. Let's welcome Wildman Robbie Page to the commentary booth. And on July 10th, he will be challenging the winner of this contest for the Light Heavyweight Championship. So, wild man, last week, uh, with Mitchell side to head with that title, how did that feel? <laughs> well, it seems to be a reoccurring thing with Mr. VIP. He likes to hit me from behind and run and tuck his tail and run away. One thing about being a champion, Rob, is you ever want to be the WWE Light Heavyweight Champion. You see their eyes in the back of your head. When you're at the top, everybody wants to be. What gets me is that this man was a longtime fan favorite and he has turned his back on the people who have made him who he is today. There would be no Mr. VIP Viper without the fans and he has completely disregarded them in every turn. Everything that he stands for in this business when he turned his back on the fans and me, man. I couldn't agree more. I've been following this very closely, Mr. VIP Piper. He has a lot to lose to me. Think about turning him back to the fans. There's nobody This young talents out there, you will be seeing Eddie Velasquez here on WDWA television. The only place to find true, true talented, talented guys. On the contrary, Mr. VIP has to beat Eddie Velasquez tonight. Right, I don't sell Eddie Velasquez short. This is a guy, he's a former U.S. Marine. Do you believe that? Oh, wow. One tough SOB right there. That's amazing. Respect for that. Mad respect for that. He was there by wrestling from middle school through high school. He was the captain of his eighth grade team. This guy has stats mile long list. Right, so Viper better not be so arrogant in that ring with Eddie because Eddie just might show him up. So let me ask you this, Wild Wild Man. How do you think you can handle if Eddie wins this match? I'm gonna take I'm gonna take that match like I do anything else. I'm gonna work 110 percent and try to. Well, there's some pretty some pretty hard slaps right there. There's no love lost between these two, and now it's getting real. Eddie Velasquez on top, raining down with hammers. You gotta stay on the champion. But Eddie's 
doing his job right now. It's pretty back and forth right now. is being shown by Eddie Velasquez. We ain't done, baby. We ain't done. Right. He's trying to motivate him back to his feet. I think that's what's going on. Huge shots to the face, Mr. VIP. Eddie Velasquez is putting it to him. Nice. What's he going for here? Big Bulldog! Big leg drop, guys. This could be turning the tide right here. VIP back on his feet. Focus more on this match. Be the small Viper. We have this fans to sit and watch the show. I mean, showboating, it did get him in trouble a second ago. VIP is now on top. Hooking him for the big suplex. Here we go. Snap suplex. Eddie is not letting him get more than one. Eddie is looking good right now. Right now, WWE fans, this is our only champion that we have right now. Other championships will be determined. But this guy stepped up. The very first post-COVID champion, our light heavyweight champion, the VIP Viper. And you know what? All, with all due respect, he's earned it. He has been in this business over a decade. I mean, he's... 17 years. 17, 17 years. Big house. That's why I'm the RP. Show that experience, Viper, looking for a pit. No, Eddie Velasquez is already crawling to the corner here. You guys aren't down here at Custom Creations right now. You guys are missing this atmosphere, missing this... Fun. This, oh, it's unreal. Fun. unreal. I'm no. $15 a ticket. You know that $15 a ticket to sit here and watch both of these light heavyweights fight for this championship. That's right, we are at 605B Winchester Avenue in Martinsburg, West Virginia. With the Mr. VIP Viper on top of Eddie Velasquez right now. He's gonna he was biting the fingers. And over here to our right, we have the number one contender, Mr. Wildman Ron Watching this match very intensely, man. Robbie Page, any, is any one of these guys is going to be a challenge. It's true. Wildman Robbie Page, he does his homework and he's doing it right now. Here live with our commentary team right now. He's choking him on the ropes. Unreal. And see, these are tactics that nobody's used to seeing Mr. VIP do. He's just, he's changed up his game and... He's, he's, he's using tactics that... He's Russia. like the Jekyll and Hyde. We have never seen this from him. Right now, I'm liking this VIP I think it's about time to see things the right way. Huge European up and cut from Eddie Velasquez. He's got him in the corner. We're going to the other corner. Oh! Huge super kick. Caught him in mid-air. Now that, that is pinpoint accuracy. And that's it. Ladies and gentlemen, still light heavyweight champion. Some motivation. Eddie Velasquez put up one hell of a fight. But yeah, I feel the fight for his team. I think I got something to say to Mike. Robbie Page is leaving the table right now. What is going to happen next? He has a point to prove with VIP. He needs to let Viper know that he's not just going to let him do whatever he wants to him. Robbie is the kind of guy who's not going to lay down for anybody. The coward. What a coward move from Mr. VIP, Viper. Pure pandemonium down here. You got Robbie 
Page just jumping out of the seat and interfering in his set and VIP Viper celebration? What the hell is he thinking? VIP is the champion for a reason. You know, everybody say, you turn the back on the fans. You know what, with your back to the fans, all you can see is the prize straight ahead of you, right? Uh, we need to see where this, where what happens next. We know that Wildman Robbie Page will face VIP Viper for the Light Heavyweight Championship, and that will be coming soon. But for now, on to the next match. This is referee Joe Lance, and you are watching WDWA on TV 10 on Saturday night. It's as easy as one, two, three. Hey, we're them radical stars, and you're watching WDWA on Comcast TV 10. Boom! Ladies and gentlemen, this next match is a six-man tag team match scheduled for one fall! I believe this is Viva Las Amish. Had a little bit of trouble seeing that, Gavin. What's going on? Try this again. Viva Las Amish. Yes. Combined weight of 850 from Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Can you believe these guys actually break a hand out to a ring? No. A hand. A big black, well, I thought it was a big black cock, but it's really just a hand. Okay. That's wonderful. Yeah. I've never seen one in person. We're going to have to definitely keep our eyes peeled for this one. Look at these guys. You ain't going to get no smiles out of these guys. Viva Las Amish. And they are accompanied by Danny Vegas. Looking at these guys, they have like no expression on their face. You don't know what they're thinking. Actually, I do believe this is a six man tag, so it will be the three of these gentlemen. Two guys, stone face, like are they even alive? And you have this flamboyant, flashy guy. Beautiful leopard skin, Jackie might I say. But um, who's, I, who's pulling the strings here? Who, who are these guys up? What do they have in common? Are they gonna be able to get to this match on the same page? Wow, look at that. It's a real chicken. Unbelievable. Only at the WDWA. Danny Vegas. He is not a small guy. You look at him. Oh, easily. The man packs a lot of power behind his punch, that much is for sure. You know, one thing about these two big Amish guys, I know they're really against manatee. I don't know if that's a reason why they have these stone faces, you know? They don't want to put over their feelings. They don't want you to learn what they're thinking, you know? It's a whole different life out there. It's a total a culture shock, life. for sure. How dare you disrespect our chicken and the greatest tag team in the world?
six-man tag action for you. And we are out of 605B Winchester Avenue Custom Creations. Come on now, check us out. I've been known to bust the groove. If they put the camera on me, I'd show. Put the camera over here right now. I'd love to see that. What a conflict of, uh, well, a contrast here. We've got some Amish. The Amish are very much so here. And we have the dancing crew here. And it's such a, con uh, a contrast of styles. Fans, the fans do not like Viva Las Amish at all. like Danny Vegas is the one who pulls the strings. And he's going to be the one starting out this match. Long time senior referee. What's his name? Richie White. Unbelievable. Look at this. Danny Vegas is just, he's just throwing his weight around now. And the match has begun. Keep him back, Richie. Keep him back. Threatening him, but dance, dance, Lucha Libre, he is a dancing. Unbelievable. I can't answer that. Come on, Gavin. Let's keep it professional out here. I'm trying to just do my job. You know? I want to know all details. He still has to take the hat, the sunglasses, and the jacket off. here in Custom Creations right now. like an 80s, uh, 80s wrestler style look to him. Definitely like an old school looking guy. And he's using old school tactics, obviously. Smack the mask right off. Now that's one thing you don't do is mess with a mask wrestler's mask. Hey, he's got the crowd. High up. Danny Vegas taking control here. Another slap. Look at those guys that Danny Vegas brought with him. They're gigantic. I mean, you got Jebediah Moss and Ezekiel Hoskins. Who, 
I'll tell you this much. If they can hit the haystack attack tonight, they will pick up the win. If there's anything that's going to get uh, Dance Dance to stop dancing tonight, it will be that. Don't sleep on all the LA stars. All the radical stars, for sure. Oh, really radical in the LA star. Now, these guys work great together. Big hip toss. Big with the arm drag. Look at that. If I can touch on the Radical Sarge, they are actually legitimately cousins. They have been in this business over 10 years. Another longtime wrestlers of the area. And they are planning to show Viva Las Amish. What's up? I just found out that Viva Las Amish, both of those guys actually share the same Uncle Dan. The same what? The same... I can't talk to you about this. Unbelievable. 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 Hey, Dan Sands Lucha Libre, he's showing a lot of, uh... Oh, God, he's taking control! Big back elbow! Come on! LA Star! The big man is in! Double noggin knocker! Star, really radical, and Dan Sands, Lucha Libre, they are on top. Oh, she has to be scared. And now we are on to the cheating tactics of the Viva Las Amish. I didn't know they knew how to cheat. He is showing Viva Las Amish that he's not just going to lay down for a pin tonight. What, tonight is one of the biggest nights in World Domination Wrestling Alliance in history. Oh, with a great move. LA with a great move. Oh! That was a big one. Boots to the back of the head, and here we go. Look at that. Come on, Richie. Danny Vegas looked like he was about to get in there. I don't think they want Danny Vegas in there. Big tag to Dan Fans Lucha Libre. Here we go. Face Buster. Dan Fans Lucha Libre is the new mask tonight. He's feeling very confident in there. Is it the new mask? I think it is. Hopefully it's put some brains in it. I'll give him a little bit of credit as he just reversed the tag. Uh oh, what's going on here? Oh! Biggest boot in the building! Holy cow! Get down there, Richie! Come over here again! That was Richie Dan That was that should have been it. That boot took him down. But now he's picking him up. Well, obviously that mask did not come with brains. Drop it like a sack of potatoes on the wait, top. Wait, wait, wait. That's how you do it. Nice move. Yeah. That should have been it right there. Danny Vegas coming in like a house of fire. LA Stars getting a little uh, getting a little frustrated out there. Time suplex. Close count there. This match could go either way at this point. And all the way from the city that never sleeps. We got Dana Vegas. He's just beating these guys. See, this is exactly why he needed that time to remove his glasses, remove his hat. All that was getting in the psyche. LA Star and really radical dance dance over here. Well, it definitely looked like it worked. And here we go, big elbow drop. Look at these tag moves. Wow. I 
think everybody in the building thought that was it. Whenever you got a man like Danny Vegas jumping up as high as he can and come crashing down on you. The mystery and now the fast tags in and out. These guys are used to teaming, you can tell. Dan Sansucci Libre, he's in a world of pain. Trying to get the fans involved. Ball breaker. Followed with. Wow! Huge. That was a huge neck breaker! Who's gonna get back on their feet first, Gavin? So right now they're in opposite corners. Looks like Chase and Super Libre is showing a little bit of life. Everybody's got their hand out for a tag. It could go either way. They have proved tonight that they are a team to be reckoned with. Big T! That's just him showing his experience. LA Star couldn't get it done right there. And it looks like they're dialing down on LA Star right now. Oh! Some tag work from the Radical Stars. Uh-oh. It looked like way, but now. Oh, what's this? They have to take the big man down. Oh! That was amazing. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the business is picking up. LA Star. Is now getting double teamed. Was that it? That's the haystacks attack right there. It's all over. Danny Vegas going to the bed. It has to be over. Whoa! Where did he come from? Wow! Wow! He came out of the sky. The Vivid Lost Amish, they're starting to get a little upset out there, though. They're trying to take this home. Danny Vegas is proving to the world that he's in this to win. What a match. Who's this? Eric C. Jones? Mike Strong? Oh, I see what's going on here. Dance, 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 dance. Oh, that's why they're attacking. Oh, I'm out this kid right now. Take it off. Unbelievable. That was the biggest slam in the night right there.
Mike Strong. Put this party to bed. Eric's got something to say. Listen, Eric C. Jones has put these mass wrestlers on notice. I gotta be completely honest with you, Travis. This place is so loud right now with all the boosters you just might I couldn't even hear what Eric Strong said. Eric C. Young said. Eric, Eric ah, C. Jones, I have no baby. Idea what's even going on right now. It's been a wild night, I don't blame you. The dance party has made its way to downtown Martinsburg, West Virginia. Between LA Star, Willie Radical, and Dance Dance Lucha Libre, they came off with the win. The crowd was going crazy, and then what? I, hey, I don't think anybody should take their eyes off of Danny Vegas and Viva Las Amish. These guys are a force to be reckoned with. That Danny Vegas, oh my god. It's he on top. More action now. I didn't come to World Domination Wrestling to settle on the sidelines. I came here to collect belts. And Kevin Mears, you stand in my way. Tonight you'll become the next victim to ruthless Jason Raditz. Tonight, we get to find out what happens when a man who is ruthless goes up against a man who will show you what fear really is. The road to Berkeley Mania continues. Jason Raditz, you will face your fears. Ladies and gentlemen, this next match is the main event! And we are up to our main event, folks. Down here at downtown Martinsburg, West Virginia, Custom Creations. $15 a seat. But this main event is worth the price of admission alone. Tell them about it, Travis. Oh yeah, we got Triple Fears, Kevin Mears, taking on this man, Ruthless, Ruthless, Jason Rattles. This guy, Jason Rattles, can go anywhere he wants in this business. I hold this guy in such high regard. I've seen him train, I've seen him in the gym. I've seen him work, guys all around, great. Kevin Mears will definitely have to bring everything he's got in his hand. It's true, it's unbelievable how far Jason Raditz has came. He used to be in a tag team and they held gold everywhere. Now he's been by himself for a long time and ruthless. He tries to make that come into a reality. Jason Raditz is the real deal. You know, Kevin Mears has been here at WWA for quite some time. Long time. Former West Virginia champion, but he's never won the big one. Never you won know, the big one. I hear that Shane Malice, he's been suspended from this match, this show. He was actually supposed to be here tonight, but because he lost, he is actually suspended and will not be allowed back in this building until the following show. That's right, suspended indefinitely. We do not need to be on the lookout for Shane Malice tonight. Let's be on the lookout for Kevin Mears. You are completely right, Travis. Kevin Mears can actually focus on this match. He doesn't have, to have eyes in the back of his head tonight. They call him Triple Fears, Kevin Mears. We gotta look out for his big finisher, the Stampede! I have been across the yeah! Kevin before, and you wanna talk about a guy who is really strong. This guy can pick Jason Raditz and everybody else up with you. No, with these, you're, you're right. And he's got a background in kickboxing, powerlifting. Right, uh, I mean, you name it, Kevin Mears is the most well-rounded wrestler out there today. Was trained by the legendary 
Jimmy Valiant, that's right. Everybody knows Jimmy Valiant. You know that charisma. You know how he works. And he's put it all of that right into Kevin here. And he brings that to the table. I love it! Introducing first Purple Lake Forest Green. Weighing in at 239 pounds. Ruthless Jason Rad! Unreal. Look at that man. There's no doubt. We need a 250 pounds. Triple Fears. Kevin Mears. One of these guys are intimidated. That was one heck of a stare down, wasn't it? This can go either way. Do you think this is going to end with the final chapter? Stampede, Travis. What are your thoughts? Well, uh, knowing both of these professionals as much as I do, it's just, it would be unfair for me to pick one. I'm just so, I am I feel privileged to be here, to be here with all WDWA to watch this main event. Because this, guys, this is a main event. Definitely a main event, Travis, and I agree with you. Triple Fears, Kevin Mears, you can catch him on the School of Morden every Sunday. He is the champion down there. Jason Raditz is going to prove to Kevin Mears that he's a contender. It's like two bulls locking horns right there. One of the strongest color of the title I've ever seen. Look at the arms of Jason Raditz. Jason is going to try to out-wrestle him, it looks like. Look at the arms on that man. Shot him off. Wow. And that gigantic arm to put Kevin Mears straight down. Jason Raddis. Big drop kick from Triple Fears, Kevin Mears. Kevin is being smart. He's staying on Jason. Jason, it, it looks like he's just shrugging it off. You know, he's got the coach to the count of ten, Travis. He's a guy that knows the business, knows how to, how to use the rules. And he's very aware of Kevin, too. Backfired. Wow, what a treat. Kevin Mears versus Jason Rollins. Jason Raddatz picking up the pace here. It looks like he's got Kevin where he wants him. Picking up the pace. Ladies and gentlemen, the floor of Custom Creations just shook right now with that suplex. Jason's che checking that ear. He's not happy about Kevin right now. What's he going for? Ooh. He's laying those in. You saw that. Being a nice guy, letting Kevin get a second. What's this? Wow, to see a sunset flip, that was amazing. That was beautiful from Kevin Mears, but it did not get the job done. Guys, that size, I was expecting slow pitches, things like that. So this is such agility with such monsters. It's amazing to watch, of course. Rarely do you see two men this size go at it. We are very privileged to see this. Big! Going for a front suplex? Wait a minute, he's got him. He's got him in the back bumper toe there, and he's gonna... Lock him up here. There we go. In there, check and make sure it's not a oh, Again, he's picking him up and throwing him down. 
Yeah, the crocodile rolls. Some amateur wrestling here. One thing about this move, it's, it stops the blood from rushing to your head. And, and, and you get all disoriented and things like that. People don't understand. Something that looks so small can affect somebody so greatly. And Kevin needs to do that to Jason. Yeah, you, take, you take a guy that's like right. Jason Raddatz, you cut off his, his wind right. You make things harder. You're just not oh. the giant. But you gotta be in the right place at the right time. Beautiful. T-bone oh, so suplex. Nice. Holy cow, that is some raw, raw strength from Jason Raddatz. He's getting two counts. You know, Travis, I taught these guys everything they know. What? Oh, I used to blow these guys away in the gym. I believe you, but modern day wrestling, this is pretty nice. Stuff. What enough about me? Let's, let's get back to Using that turnbuckle to his advantage. What's Jason going for? It has been Chop City. That was a chop. They call it an chop for one reason, that's because it'll cut you. And it's a tool that Kevin Mears uses. Yeah. Oh. Oh. He is chopping the tattoos right off of Kevin Mears. Jason Raddatz, what's he going for here? Big back elbow. It's like hitting a brick wall. He's feeling up his chest right now because, man, he just hit a brick wall. Choking on the ropes. He is not impressed with Kevin Mears. He's showing the fans right now why they call him ruthless. Whoa! Jason Raditz needs to do this kind of stuff to win a match? You know what, if you look right now at Jason Raditz's eyes, look at the intensity of that guy. He's exactly where he wants to be. He's exactly where he needs to be. Kevin Harris with a cheap shot trying to be What? That wasn't a cheap shot. Kevin is trying to do everything he can, and Jason is taking shortcuts. I know. That's why I'm confused on why he's doing it. The problem is, he wants Kevin Mears up on his feet. He wants to stand toe to toe. For some reason, Kevin Mears keeps going straight to the ground. What a big match in both men's careers. Oh, this be the stand toe to toe. Michi, no, it's either. That's it. Oh, wow. How close was that pin, Travis? Very close. Ladies and gentlemen, we are getting one heck of a contest right now. Billy Bauer's hand was coming down for that three. Just at the very last second, Jason Rattis yeah. up. It looks like Kevin is trying to slow down the pace here, locking the submission. Cheating? Why? Why is he cheating? Jason is so he is talented, he doesn't need the to do this. Seizing it. Seizing it, okay. It's not his fault that Kevin Harris put his eyes in Rattis' hands. <laughs> oh, sure, okay. Those big clubs. We knew this was going to be a slugfest. Hitting the ropes. What do we got here? Big spear. Jason Raditz being a speed and power hybrid of a pro wrestler. He's really taking Kevin to the end of his rope, it looks like. I think Kevin Mears is wasting time right here. A guy like Jason Raditz, you better get on him right away. It was just like I You were right. Here we go. Back elbow, my man. What is he going for here? Is this the stampede? The stampede! Thank you so much for tuning in to TV10. You have just witnessed Kevin Mears.
winning over ruthless Jason Raddins. Come down, check the slide. Just recently witnessed Godzilla versus King Kong. And we had Godzilla versus King Kong, two huge bohemians in this ring tonight for our main event, Travis. I, it could have gone either way. We had two of the most experienced guys uh, with Kevin Mears being a, a school of more regular. He's the champion down there. He has proved himself. Yes. I mean, and Jason Raddins, what can you really say about the guy? He has been all over the area. And to see Kevin Mears versus Jason Raddins tonight, it was an absolute pleasure. It was an absolute pleasure, Travis. One indeed I won't ever forget. You know, it's, we're here, we're on channel 10 WRNR TV we get to witness these two guys go against each other Kevin Mears has made it known his goal is the WDWA world heavyweight title and with Shane Malice being suspended tonight he had that chance to go in there be focused do what he does to make him the best in the business tonight and I think no doubt Shane Malice he needs to watch his back go subscribe to the YouTube channel follow the Facebook page you can catch all events at 605 B Winchester Avenue, that's in Martinsburg, West Virginia for World Domination Wrestling Alliance.